Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Carl Lightning and today we're talking Snapchat news and the customization options of Snapchat in the premium subscription. Gonna put it all into one because yesterday I filmed a video about something suspicious, a very conspiracy I had going on with some Snapchat branding. Not that they were gonna rebrand, but for some reason there was something special about this branding and I couldn't put my finger on it. I recorded the whole video and before I started editing, I spoke to one of my friends who also makes videos himself and when I I told him about it, he literally said it was an album release. Let's go. Yeah. So hello everybody and welcome. My name, as I said in the introduction, is Carl Lightning and today we are talking about some news in Snapchat and also some customization options. If you're not part of the subscription, might just show you a feature that you may or may want to subscribe for if you love Snapchat as much as I do. And I'm gonna just change the lighting to match that green that I talked about or the logo that we're gonna talk about in today's episode. So this logo here apparently is an album that is releasing very soon and Snapchat were doing it as a promotion, as an icon and the colors for this also matched in the color section. So these menus here were very questionable. I didn't understand why that the primary Snapchat color had this new color next to it, and I was thrown in a conspiracy that something that Snapchat were testing would have come out. Oh, I was wrong, because of course it's Charlie XCX album release, Brat, which is this new trend that's going on at the moment, and I just feel so uncultured at that point when I found that out. So, um, but I made the Snapchat brand name match the whole thing. I really want to try it out and see if I could guess it, but obviously, <sighs> trends. <laughs> so, but today I'm going to talk about some of the news uh, at the end of the video of Snapchat, talking about the quarters and stuff and where, where Snapchat will be going uh, from what, what it looks like from an outsider perspective. But firstly, let's talk about some of the customization options in the plus menu. I think this is really interesting. This is something that I like to jazz up. The fact that we can do this really goes against Snapchat's cool yellow and black branding, but it gives you the control for being a subscriber. So I think it's brilliant. I think it's a great way to, to uh, offer your fans something really unique to the Snapchat experience if, of course, you're a Plus subscriber. So inside the Plus subscription menu, this is where you can find the options and these tiles are tappable if they're a feature and you wanna scroll down to the Snapchat icon and this is where you can change the icon. So these are the current roster of icons and you can see there's an absolute treat load of them. And this is one of the features I actually enjoy because if you have an Apple Watch, you actually get the icon come through it as well. So it really does make you feel how your Snapchat mood is. The original first icon I changed it to was the British flag as a British Snapchat. I thought it was really neat. And then they added more and more and more and more to the point now where there is literally a choice for everyone. And then of course the basic snap with the green, which is of course the Brat logo, uh, really threw me off and that is where I thought, hey, this is interesting. This doesn't fit in with the others. It's not as polished. Then you have the customization of the Snapchat navigation and record button and like the look and feel like you literally can take away the yellow out of Snapchat and choose pretty much any color that you want. It's not a specific color, but there's a wide palette that you can choose from that cover all aspects. This is my current option. You can choose any record button from the selection. You can mix and match it with the colors, the recording frame. So when you record a Snapchat video, instead of it being yellow, you can actually change it to be multicolored, black, white. There's a wide range of customization options here that just change the application all the way through. And if I just swipe through and go back to my home tab, as you can see on the home menu here, you actually have that customization down the bottom. You can even actually change which tab it opens up on Snapchat by default. As someone who likes to create a lot of memories, I typically have the camera still set, but if you like the map or the messages, these are two common ones that people use to have as their default as it's a little bit different. But as I'm someone who grabs their phone out the pocket to film something really quick in an instant moment, I found that the camera is still the option for me. This feature was released in the early stages of the Plus subscription and has been one of the main reasons I've stayed subscribed to Snapchat Plus, just because it has given me the look and feel along with my Bitmoji background and the Bitmoji clothes and have colors that represent my personality in Snapchat. It's the small things that get me honestly, but I actually really do enjoy having more of a purple and blue Snapchat because when I do my edits, I sit in a 
blue light with a pink hue so it's kind of like matching my vibe and that's what I kind of like just being able to customize the whole look and feel and in terms of the subscription Snapchat have released that there are 11 million concurrent subscribers to the platform currently making the most of the additional features. The one thing that I don't like and I don't think this is going to change is the fact that we still get ads on our Snapchat content. I think if they added that into the regular subscription because they do have an ads free one which is a bit more pricier and not part of the family plan but if you were to get rid of those ads I feel like I would spend more time watching the content on the application because I feel like the ads on Snapchat are a bit intrusive. They break up the content to the point where I'm actually ready to leave the app and find find some more content on maybe TikTok and Instagram. Certainly not X though, and as I was talking about a rebrand in the previous video, I mentioned that actually the X rebranding from Twitter to X, I still don't think has had the same impact. I believe Elon killed off some of the strongest branding in the world from the word tweet, which if I said, I'm just gonna tweet about this, you know where to look, my Twitter. But if I say I'm gonna post about this, to me, it's a bit flat, but not going against Elon. He's got his vision. He's brought AI into the world of X, but I feel like there's a lot of people that don't use X now. I was going to say Twitter as it's so natural. Uh, don't use X as well as they used to, especially in the business sector, as a lot of them have moved over to LinkedIn. If we think back to 2018, 2019, the years I would say Snapchat was at its quietest. In comparison to now, in 2024, Snapchat is extremely lively to the point where most people, I would say, post on Snapchat for those story moments instead of Instagram. There seems to be a big shift in the last couple of years. You know, that was Snapchat's aim to do so. So it's exciting to see the yellow borders, or of course, if you've customized it, the color of your choice. In not so great news for Snapchat, their stock plummeted this week after they released their quarter two figures showing that Snapchat's numbers wasn't where they actually wanted it. So it's obviously affected the stock when a company doesn't show the profits that should be really expected. I don't read stocks, I'm not a financial advisor, so the knowledge I have is very minimum, but I do understand that obviously that's going to affect Snapchat. And what comes down can go back up of course and with the Snapchat Partnership Summit which is their annual event that's hosted around the end of Q3, start of Q4, uh, we could hopefully see some features and some work with big companies. Um, last time they had like Disney and all that so there's there's an opportunity for Snapchat to pull that back. I wouldn't be too worried about that as a platform. It's been here, what now, 11 years and still going strong. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's, today's video. I tried to throw a feature in with some news because I feel like if I just try and do both, they might not you know, work as well. So let's see how this format works. I kind of love having this backdrop. It's literally just a light look. Um, it's quite cool. Uh, whoa, that was a cool transition. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it and let us know what you want to hear about the Snapchat and social media community because it's getting pretty good in 2024. It'll be interesting to see where things go. But thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in another video.